Akamari here. Today we're going to be introducing you to another mushroom. We're in Matariki, uh, time of the Māori New Year. And we have different tohu that are coming up in those times to tell us what's going on around us. So we're looking at this one, the basket fungus, and the many Māori names that relate to it. And I'll give you an indication of what's going on and this time of the year for us. So we'll start off with two of the names. Te Kupunga o Taramainuku, the net of Taramainuku, and Mata Kupunga, the face of the net, obviously because of the shape. Uh, the other names for this are relays. The first one that we'll be looking at is related to the stars. So Koro Koro Fetu, the throat of the stars. Um, Kōkiri Fetu, Kōkiri is to announce. Uh, Teko Fetu, Tutai Fetu, both talking about uh, the excrement of the stars. Uh, Kōpū Rā Fetu, also another name. Now, if we're going on to our other tohu, is Whaitiri, Thunder. Some people know it as Whatatiri. Whaitiri, Whatatiri. So there's a lot of names also to do with Whaitiri. Paru Whaitiri, looking at this Paru. And the tohu here is uh, looking at what's happening in the sky in relation to what's happening in the ground. So when thunder happens, you will see this mushroom come up. So it has this connection. Other names, Teko Whaitiri. Uh, tutai Whaitiri. So we have all these different names that uh, connect us. So one tohu is the connection to the time of Matariki, the new year, because these are coming out, these are something that grows in the cold time of the year when a lot of things stop growing. Hey, the world is shut down, it's cold, there's not a lot of kai, the birds are hungry, food is scarce. And in this time, this is a tohu of telling us about that time of year. And the other tohu we're looking at is uh, Whaitiri, thunder. Thunder is happening and after the thunder, this will bloom. So, Haru Whaitiri is another name and we're looking at that. Tohu, visual, matakupinga, looking at the net all those things so we'll have a bit more look and I'll show you a couple shots of it on the ground so you can identify it. This is the stage that you're likely to come across this mushroom and see in the forest. You can dig around the mushroom and expose the rest of it and you'll see these little puffball looking things. You can see on the outside there's a membrane and that membrane can be pierced. This is the traditional time to eat them before the net or matakupinga comes out. As you can see with this one, the membrane's been pierced and that matakupinga is wanting to push its way out. This is a good way to identify this mushroom. I've had it steamed or fried and it has the texture of an oyster but quite a different taste nearly like a cheese. Remember only take what you need and what you're going to eat and leave it how you found it. 